Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Jason here, and uh, we're uh, looking at a Sears Suburban 12. This is actually a customer's tractor, but I thought it was just uh, too nice to, to not talk about a little bit and make a video about it. But um, if you want to see more uh, garden tractor reviews or garden tractors resurrected, small engine stuff, uh, like and subscribe. But um, this is a Sierra Suburban 12, and uh, these are made from 1966 to 1971, I believe. And um, it's all around, pretty stout tractor, well built. And um, these were made by Roper and distributed through Sears. You can buy them through the catalog, um, send out the magazine, look through it, and uh, place your order. But uh, I believe this one here is uh, a little bit later model one, like 70 or 71, I think. Um, comes with a 12 horsepower Tecumseh engine. Um, they're a good motor. Um, a lot better than the stuff you can buy today. Um, but I still prefer a good old cast iron Kohler. But uh, it's got the starter generator here. Belt drive to, to the engine. And um, so that's electric start. And... Um, that was a big deal back in the day, you know, but, um, yeah, this one, uh, it's been painted before, so pretty decent job, there's a little overspray here and there, I see, but, um, nice, good running tractor, um, it has, uh, eight speed rear end, I guess, it's got three forward gears in reverse, but it's also got a high low here, your clutch is there. So, um, so it's got wheel weights on the back. And um, they made all kinds of attachments for uh, these tractors. You know, snow blower, snow plow, sickle bar mower, front end loader. But I think one of the, the biggest features of this was uh, that they put three point hitches on the back of them. It was just like a plate that bolted here to these four bolt holes had two arms that came out and then uh you know your top link was in the middle here and um it was raised and lowered by your hand there was a bar that that came up over uh, the side of the fender and you kind of just lift up on it to let it down and up and i think that was uh one of the biggest selling features of these tractors um you know you put um plows and tillers discs all that kind of stuff on the on the three point and you know it would it would work your garden and um that's really what separates you know a garden tractor from a lawnmower is that um a garden tractor works your garden you know you can put a teller on it and uh all that kind of stuff it's just uh much more heavy built heavy duty but um lawnmower whereas the lawnmower you know you're just kind of it's only good for mowing grass, just about, you know. But uh, got another series over here. This one's uh, a little bit later, I think, mid 70s maybe. But it's got the same Tecumseh engine. This one's got a, just a start, regular starter on it. But uh, nice original tractor right there. Need the seat. Runs good though. But um, yeah, so. It's a nice tractor got it in for uh for an oil leak or a fuel leak or some kind of leak and they want a new uh, uh drive belt on it this is a belt drive tractor so um, it does start up though sounds good doesn't smoke almost Sears Suburban 12. Uh, also made them in like a blue color. 
I think that's a, a nice color. But um, yeah, just real nice tractors overall. And um, they don't make them like they used to. But. Yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. Look at that, a metal hood, stinking metal hood. Everything you buy today is a stinking plastic. Oh. A heavy duty grill here, it's metal. I mean, look at this cop cadet. Plastic hood right here. John Deere, plastic hood. John Deere over here, plastic hood. It's just all junk. Solid frame, but um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. So.